Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of Tactical Talks. Before we get started, I want to give a shout out to all the guys on the Patreon squad. Thank you guys so much for everything that you guys do in supporting me and supporting the channel to make sure that we're able to put, you know, provide good content and continue to make content even though within these crazy times there's just so much stuff going on. So thank you guys very much. If anybody else wants to join the Patreon squad, just click the link down in the description and it'll walk you through that process. It's very cheap. And like I said, it definitely helps out what we do here on the channel. With that being said, in this episode, we're going to be talking about my AR pistol. I kind of started my YouTube channel as far as the, the gun content and the tactical content really based on this pistol. This was the videos and the, uh, I guess the episodes at the time that were getting a lot of uh, views, at least views, a lot of views for the size of the channel that I had. And this is kind of what got people interested. AR pistols were were already a thing, but they just kind of over the years have blown up, and you see them everywhere now. Where at the time, they really weren't as mainstream as they are now. But with that being said, I really haven't shown my AR pistol in a while. I did a video maybe a year or so ago, talking about upgrading the uh, the pistol brace on the on the back of it, and after that, that was kind of it. I've made some very small changes to it, but there are significant changes in the sense that I feel like this is where I want this thing to be. Um, when I first started talking about this pistol, the videos were titled My Dream Pistol. And this really was, you know, my dream pistol. Being a uh, Marine Corps veteran, I carried, you know, M14s, ARs, all those things. I carried those and it was just a platform that I just got very used to, very accustomed to. I was very proficient in it. And it's something that, you know, I have ARs, I have multiple ARs. I wanted to be able to have something compact that I could carry with me, um, whether it was in a backpack, whether it was in a truck, whatever the situation was, I wanted something small enough that I can have it with me and um, have a, a, an effective round. And again, have an effective platform and something that I was proficient in. This gun is through Harden Arms. This is the only thing that I've bought through Harden Arms. And I can say that I've had zero issues with it. When I bought this thing, it was bare bones. It was just a stock AR pistol. And what I'll do is I'll go through the parts that I can remember. I know I have a parts list somewhere, but again, I've changed some things over the years. Um, so I'll go through the things that I remember. We'll talk about it, little things that I've upgraded. The only things that have stayed the same on this have been the bolt carrier group and the trigger are still original to the gun. Um, I know there's other things out there, better products. For me, it's kind of one of those, it ain't broke, don't fix it. And plus I have enough money in this gun already that I really didn't want to be dropping another couple hundred dollars on a bolt carrier group, another couple hundred dollars on a flat trigger or a binary trigger or you know all these other things that are accessible but without further ado this is my AR pistol so for those of you who have been subscribers for a while have watched the channel have watched my AR pistol series you can probably already see some things that are new or different I can tell you the newest latest things that I've done is I've added this EOTech 512 I got this from a buddy of mine. Um, I do not know all the specs on it, so don't beat me up on that too much. I just got it a few days ago, so it's really not even sighted in. I just have it mounted up because I wanted to see what it looked like, and I've just kind of done some moving around with this thing to see how I'm going to like this sight on this gun. And I can tell you the look of it, I mean, it's, it, it's an EOTech, so everybody knows, everyone in the gun world, you look at this EOTech, you know exactly what it is, you know exactly what it does, you know the name. And yes, they've had some issues in the past, but EOTech has corrected those issues. And they are great products, great sites. Um, kind of expensive depending on what your price range is. But I got this one used from a buddy of mine. So I definitely did not pay full price. Um, and that's a, a huge plus for me. I didn't have to worry about spending. I think these are going on Palmetto and on Amazon, stuff like that starting at about 479 so i can tell you i definitely did not pay 479 but i still have all the benefits of the eotech name and the eotech uh, quality the other thing that i did was i used to have the 
um, Magpul. It was the AFG2 angled foregrip. I had that on here and it, it worked really well. It felt really well. It felt really good, but it just added a lot of bulk to the, to the grip up here. And even though, like I said, I liked it, it was effective. I decided I wanted to change it out. So this is actually from the Magpul line. This is the Magpul hand stop kit. And it also has a couple other little plates you can put on here. You can put another little smaller hook piece like this in the back of it. And all that does is just give you um, a positive reinforcement as far as this stops your hand here. The other little hook sits in the back. So you have exact placement every single time. I didn't feel that it was necessary on this gun to keep, continue to add more to the front, continue to add weight. But what I did want to do was ensure that I did not grab too far forward. If you guys can see, this is the Strike Industries cookie cutter um, muzzle device. So it's not necessarily 100% flush with the, the foregrip there, but it is pretty similar. So what I did not want to happen was to grab too far up the way I do on my other ARs. And when I go to pull that trigger, end up hurting myself because I'm too far on that muzzle device so I wanted to ensure that I at least had this hook down here so when I go to grab I have that positive stop right there my hands not going to go any further than that and it puts my hand far enough back that as far as when that blast comes out of that muzzle device it's not going to hurt me in any way so that's why I put that on there um, those are the two things like I said that I have added another thing is I removed the the backup the I have Magpul MBUS flip up sights and I know a lot of you are going to say, why would you do that? What if your EOTech runs out of battery? What if it goes down? And I agree with you 100%. The only reason that this does not have the backup sights on it right now is because I bought some micro Roni kits here recently. And one of my micro Roni kits has a red dot on it. And the other one has no sights on it. So I wanted to make sure that at least every platform, everything that I had, had at least one set of sights. This is not a primary gun by any means. This is just kind of something that I mess around with. Every once in a while, this will sit in my truck. And I do understand the whole, what if the batteries go down? If I'm in that type tight of a situation where this needs to come out and the batteries don't work, I can just still point this and get some rounds down range and get my point across. So I understand MBUS sites are a must for me. So these are, the MBUS sites are going to be coming back. They're just not on there right now. Kind of moving down. Um, this hand grip, so actually this hand grip was original to the gun as well. This uh, came from Harden Arms. I have the Olight. This is the PL Valkyrie 2. I don't have the exact specs on that. You guys can go and look it up. But it does have the strobe mode. has a on mode. It's got like a quick pulse touch. What I like about this is the buttons are rubberized back here. And they have little ridges on them. So it's very easy to tell that you're on that button. So when I'm up here moving forward, I usually use my thumb to press down. And it's very positive as far as uh, the feedback that I get from that button. Kind of moving back. Um, I have the BM, BCM. I knew I was going to mess that up. The BCM Gunfighter Extended Charging Handle on there. I have the Strike Industries. Um, dust cover on there with the American flag. I added, this is from Magpul and Noveski, 60% throw safety on there. I have, this is, I believe it's the Magpul bad lever. It's the battery assist, or yeah, battery assist device. So the bad lever on there. I have the Magpul K2 pistol grip. Um, and then again, I have the SB tactical I think this is like the SBA-3, I don't remember exactly what it's called, it's been a little while. And that's this is what I ended up with. This is a 7.5 inch barrel. Um, nothing too special, too crazy, too amazing. But for me, this is kind of one of my dream guns. This is one of the ones I'm never going to get rid of. I continue to kind of change things. I had a different uh, SIG op, op on top of this for a little while. I ran it with just iron sights for a little while. I had a TLR1 light on here for a little while. Um, like I said, I had the AFG2 on here for a little bit. I ran just the A2 birdcage for a little while and just slowly have, have made changes. Oh, the other thing I have is this big fat extended mag release button. I don't remember who that was from. 
It, again, I built this thing years ago, but it's a lot bigger than just a small button. Very easy to find, very easy to get to. So that's pretty much it. Like I said, I really wanted to just make this video as an update video to kind of show you guys what I'm doing, what I have, um, and just talk about some of the guns that you guys haven't seen in a while. I usually will buy new guns, new parts, and that's what I make videos on. I talk about the new stuff, and I talk about initial impressions, and I try to do follow-up videos on, it's been a month, two months, three months, this is how the product is holding up. But something that I don't do is I don't necessarily go back and talk about some of the old guns or the original guns to the channel, and uh, you guys really don't get to see some of these things all the time. But if you all have any questions about any of the guns that I've shown, comment down below. I'm more than happy to get those guns back in videos if I still have them. I'm a huge, huge believer in sometimes I want something, sometimes I buy it just as an impulse buy. And sometimes I will buy a gun. There's been numerous times where I'll buy a gun. I thought it was really cool. And sometimes I won't even shoot it. Somebody will offer me a certain amount of money or I'll see something better. And I'll end up doing trades, sales, all that kind of stuff. Um, all legally. But I do stuff like that and just kind of keep moving things around. And so I always have different guns coming in and out. I can tell you guys that there is another part coming in for this gun. So you are going to be seeing this gun again in a video fairly soon when that part comes in. We'll get that part put on here and I'll let you guys know where I got it from, how much I paid for it. We're going to do some, some tests with it to see um, the quality of the product, if it works. And then hopefully when we go out to the range, we'll do some more testing and we'll do some more uh, in-depth stuff to see what I think about it. And it's something I've been wanting for a very, very long time. I just didn't want to, again, throw too much more money into this considering the money that I have in it already. I figure I already have it. It's good. So I try to put that money towards new products for you guys and for myself, but usually for the content. So let me know what you guys think of this video. Um, let me know what you think of this AR pistol. Like I said, this is a dream gun of mine. This isn't everybody's cup of tea, and I get that. Some people love these. Some people hate these. Um, some people are like, why would you have this optic on a pistol? You should put that on a rifle. And everybody has their opinions on how they think things should go. But let me know what you guys think of this. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Comment down below. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. And again, thank you guys for checking out this video. Huge shout out to the Patreon squad. Click the links down below if you guys want any more information on who I am, what I'm doing, and other things that I have going on. So thank you guys for checking out this video. And I'll see you on the next one.